Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to change this background image in your Contempo theme in your Blogger website. I'll show you how to change this image to a different image and also show you how to add a background color instead of this image. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and here we can see I'm using this theme called Contempo Light. And by default we have this background color over here for this theme. Now there are two ways of doing this. The first method is by clicking on this customize button over here. So you have to go here to theme and click on customize. And here we can see that the background image is being displayed. So you can go ahead and change or remove the background image. So if I click on change image, here we have all these uh, background image by blogger itself so you can just select one of these so I'll just select this one right here and uh, let's click on done and now we can see that the image has changed so if I click on save and if I go back to our website and if I refresh this page now here we can see we have a different background image let's go back to our dashboard and if I click on change image we can see that we also have the option of uploading the image so you can just click on upload image and upload your own image and add it as a background image over here. Now the next method I'm going to show you is using the theme editor. So we're going to edit the theme code. So for that you have to first of all inspect the code. So let's right click over here and let's click on inspect. And let's see how the background image is structured. So if you scroll up here we can see that we have this uh, division with the class of BG photo container. And if you open this, we can see that we have this BG photo image over here. And in that we have this background image URL set. Now let's see how to add a background color instead of this image. So for that, we need to search for this BG photo container division. So let's go back to our dashboard and let's go to theme. Let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And here you have to search for the class name. So I just press command F. If you're using Windows, you can just press control F. And you can just search for class equals and single quotes and we have the class called bg photo container and let's press enter and here we can see we have the division and in that we have this uh, div with the class of bg photo now this division basically has the image so let's go ahead and comment this so i just press less than exclamation hyphen hyphen and close the comment over here by typing hyphen hyphen greater than and now we can see this line of code is inside the comment so it will not be executed now let's go ahead and add a background color to this bg photo container division so let's copy this class from here and let's scroll up and let's go to the css and here in the css let's add our own custom css so i'll just add a comment i'll just type custom bg and here let's paste the selector. So I'll just type dot and paste the name of the selector, which is BG photo container. And here we need to add a background color. So let's type background. And I'll just type 023047. And uh, let's click on save. And now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now you can see we have this background color over here instead of the image. So in this way, you can add any background color over here. You can also add linear gradient and uh, things like that. So let's just try that. Now you can just go to this website called cssgradient.io and go to background. And here we can see we have different options and you can select any of these uh, background images from here. So you can go to the next page and uh, we can see that there are a lot of background images. So I'll just copy this from here. So let's click on copy CSS. And now let's go back to our theme code and uh, here I'll just paste the code. So just paste it over here. And uh, now let's click on save. Now let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page. And now we can see that we have the linear gradient background color. Now you can also add images over here just like these background colors in the code. So let's just open pixabay.com. So here I'm in pixabay.com and let's search for background. And let's select one of these background images from here. So I'll just select this one right here. And let's go ahead and copy the image URL from here. So I'll just right click over here and click on copy image address. 
And let's go back to our code and here I'll just type background image and here I'll just type URL and in single quotes I'll just add the link of the image. So just paste it over here and now let's save this. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that we have the correct background image over here. Now if you want to upload your own image you can do that as well. So you can just go over here to pages and create a new page. So I just call it uploaded images. And here you can go ahead and click on insert image and click on upload from computer. And you can click on choose files. And I'll just select this image right here. So let's click on open. And let's click on this image and let's click on select. And let's click on original size and OK. And here we have the code of the image. And if you're using the compose view, then the image will be displayed over here. So let's right click over here on the image and uh, let's click on copy image address. And uh, now you can go ahead and copy this uh, URL from here. So let's go back to theme. So let's just go back. And uh, let's go over here to theme. And let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And let's go to our CSS. And here instead of this URL, I'll just paste the current URL. So I'll just cut this from here. And let's paste the URL of the uploaded image. And let's click on save. Right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see that our image is being displayed but right now the image is being repeated so let's right click over here and let's go to inspect and uh, you can just go over here to the CSS so here in the CSS we can just type background repeat and let's set it to no repeat and let's type background size and let's set it to cover and I'll just set background position and let's set it to center and uh, we can just copy these three lines of code from here and uh, let's paste it over here and uh, let's click on save now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see that the image is being displayed correctly now we can also increase and decrease the height of this image so let's go over here and uh, let's tap height and let's set the height to let's try 200 pixels and let's click on save and now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see that the image size is 200 now here we can see that we also have this uh, image overlay so you can delete that as well so let's go back and let's go to the HTML so I'll just search for class BG photo container and I'll just delete this overlay from here and let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see we don't have the overlay and the image is being displayed over here and uh, if you want to set it to 100 viewport height you can do that as well so here I'll just change this to 100 viewport height and uh, let's save it And now let's go back and let's refresh this page and now we can see that the image has 100% height of the window so that's basically how you can add custom image to your blogger website with contempo theme so just change it back to this image right here all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.